Hi, I'm Charlene Laney, co-founder of Newmaker Financial and certified financial planner professional. Today's part three of a five-part series we're calling Five Key Investing Strategies. And these are the strategies that we advocate for here at Newmaker Financial. Now, the third one, which we'll be talking about today, is investment selection. So how do you know which investments to choose? Um, which mutual fund, which ETF should you go with? Um, well, a couple of things we look at when determining which investments would be appropriate for our clients are, you know, one, you wanna make sure that you are comparing apples to apples when looking at performance. So if you're looking at a mutual fund that holds all small companies here in the US in it, no large companies, no midsize, and you're seeing that the performance on that one is up 25% in the last year. And then you look as well at a bond mutual fund that was only up two or three percent this last year. Um, you need to recognize that that's not an apples to apples comparison and as basic as it may sound, I do find that especially people who are new to the investing world, they tend to make this mistake and only really look at performance um, for things that have done really well and only choose those types of investments which can put you in a bad position because all of a sudden your portfolio is only small companies here in the US for example and, and you will need a mix as you know from our last video with asset allocation. So make sure you are comparing apples to apples when looking at performance. Make sure it it is a fund that holds the same type of investments in it. Make sure that the objectives are similar when you're comparing between them. Um, and know as well that when you're looking at past performance numbers, that it's not going to guarantee future results. So if we think about that hypothetical small cap company mutual fund um, and its double digit returns over the last year or few years, uh, that doesn't necessarily mean it's going to continue on that same trajectory moving forward. Um, so past performance, it's not a guarantee of future results. It could very well be the case that small cap companies have just, you know, kind of reached the end of their business cycle and are now going to be entering a time of less favorable performance. Um, again, Another reason why we need that diversification, why we need an appropriate asset allocation for you. Um, and then finally, one more tip I'll throw out there is to look at expense ratios of your mutual funds and of your exchange traded funds and to recognize too that higher expense ratios, um, now if you're unfamiliar with what an expense ratio is, it is simply the cost of essentially the, the convenience that you get of buying a single mutual fund or a single ETF and having access or exposure to hundreds, if not thousands of companies at the same time. Um, that expense ratio pays for the management of the mutual fund. If there are people rather than robots and algorithms involved, you'll notice that the, the pricing for the expense ratio is a little bit higher. Um, but as I was saying, higher is not necessarily always worse because if you are getting a higher return for that higher expense ratio um, compared to a lower expense ratio mutual fund or ETF, then it very well may be worth it to pay a little bit extra uh, for the human brain power that it takes to manage a mutual fund like that on more of an active basis. So all that is to say that number three is to focus on investment selection and choosing the right pieces to fill up that asset allocation. And this is, of course, something we work on with our clients here all the time. Happy to talk to you more about it. And I hope this has been helpful. Let us know what questions you have.